bone remodeling. It's a process where the bone will become longer, wider, or stronger as a result to a force being placed on the bone. Now this can be done at any age, and we could theoretically use this to our advantage and grow taller in height after puberty. In this video, I'll be doing a quick breakdown on why bone remodeling works and how we can use it to our advantage. So here's three reasons in three minutes. I won't waste your time, let's begin. Reason number one is orthodontics. If you've ever seen someone or know someone with braces, you'll see that their teeth shift around and become this perfect U shape, which will change the bone structure of their face. They'll become more symmetrical on either side, their jawline will become a little sharper, and if they had an under or an overbite, that issue will become corrected. This is also the same reason why mewing works, because with when the tongue is pushed against the roof of the mouth, muscle will always win against bone. Force will always win against bone, like in the case of braces. And so the maxilla, that bone right above the tongue, will get pushed up and outward given enough force and given enough time. Now, if you're unconvinced, let's take a look at Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking was a great physicist who had ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. And although he didn't let that stop him from becoming great, it did deteriorate the bones in his face. And this is because the muscles in his face atrophied over time and could no longer support the skull. And so his skull sank down and inward over time. Reason number two is if someone hunches or they slouch or if their neck is craned all the way forward for hours every single day, over years, the muscles and the bone will accommodate this new lifestyle and change shape for it. Muscle and force will always win against bone. Reason number three, when a surgeon breaks apart your bone and separates it with a metal rod or a titanium rod, that missing bone in the middle will grow back because osteoblasts in your body will put new bone where it's missing. This is kind of the same reason why your bones will naturally heal in a cast after you've broken it. The only difference is that the bones are pushed right up against one another and they just fuse. In height growth surgery, the bones are separated and new bone is added in. So how can we use this to our advantage? Well, theoretically, if we had microfractures in our bones from running or jumping or lifting heavy weights and we stretched out the limb while we were sleeping, then we could grow back bone while the bone's in a stretched position. And this would take years, and if it did work, it could grow the bone longer. 